Before the Civil War, nursing wasn't a real profession. There weren't even any real hospitals. The few deemed hospitals that they had were called pest houses because they were unsanitary and provided very little medical attention. Nursing was not a well-known trade, but this changed with the Civil War. This five-year span of war served as the roots of the nursing profession. By the middle of the Civil War, there were hospitals established in both the North and the South. A few women that helped ratify the nursing industry include Clara Barton and Dorothea Dix. These two women, including the other Civil War nurses, showed their willing and fearless spirits in a time of great need, subsequently becoming known as the Angels of the Battlefield. These nurses risked their lives every day, often for no pay at all. Those who got paid only got paid, on average, $12 a month. Although nursing was not taken seriously at the start of the war, it was by the end. These nurses dispensed comfort, compassion, and care, making them the angels of the battlefield forever.